Oh, I'll do his little intro. Welcome back, guys. My name's Ifeon. In today's video, we are going to be doing Nightfalls and just discussing stuff about Destiny. Mainly the Nightfalls in this video and what we think about them. And I'm here with Patrick, Shadow Wonder. Can we have a wave? Is there a wave? There we got a dance better than a wave. And guy that who's on a sparrow that... Oh, the sparrow wave, brilliant. All right, that's uh, as good as this intro is going to get, I think. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. So, basically, this will be the first nightfall I've done in... I don't even know how long. I did one about a month ago. Don't really bother with the nightfalls anymore because I don't feel they're actually worth it anymore. They're not worth the time of it. They're not... They can be enjoyable if a flank sends you flying about 30 yards, but that's really as much enjoyment as I get from them anymore. What about you two? Is there... Are you ever thinking, oh, no, I need to go do my nightfalls anymore or anything like that? It's crap. <laughs> but, there's no cause... There's no reward. It's fucking... There's, there's no point. You used to get your buff. Even when you got everything you wanted to, you got your buff and you cracked it for the rest of the week. But nah. See, that's like the best point, I think, of any point any of us can make, is that you used to get a buff, it was worth it for the rest of the week. You two at least know where you're going, I'm so far behind. Even if you got absolute garbage, you had that buff and it was well worth it for the buff. And there's no buff anymore. Yeah, like made up of the fact that Bungie's loot system shot on you from a great height every time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Whereas... Oh, shit, yeah. But I mean, even then, I mean, there was a chance that I could actually get a weapon that was actually max damage and it could have a chance of actually being useful or even slightly better or a different variant to the one I had. And my one could be good for PvE, the other one could be good for PvE. But even now, the chance of actually getting something that's useful is slim to none because you might not get a weapon, you could get armor, a ghost, or any other kind of bullshit. And even then, you've got to get it actually leveled up, which in case you've got to get something high light level to actually upgrade it to a point where it's actually useful. Well, exactly. I mean, before it was, like we were saying uh, earlier, it was a 50-50. You're going to get something you want or you're going to get something you don't want. Now, you are going to have 50% of something you don't want because even if you get the perfectly rolled thing, it's just going to have garbage light level on it. I mean, not top level light. And considering, I would say that this is... Nightfall's a t technically end game. Other than the raid, it's as close to... Oh, God, I'm, I'm gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting, like, you just, it's just too chilled out. But there's just nothing really... You, you can't come out of a Nightfall really super happy, unless it's an exotic you don't have. I think that's the best you can hope for these days, really. Well, I mean, look at last week. Like you said, you have not come on yourself since, I think, the last week of November. Um, last, I didn't even plan on playing this anymore, but then for, um, last week with a leg injury, I so said his body needs something to do. Um, so we just do the nightfalls for shits and giggles. And we said, like, yeah, okay then. And we literally got shafted and had a comedy value moment like we used to because we got nothing. Not even any of us got a new exotic or nothing. It was just all bullshit. Who was it that got the coins? Paul, I, uh, I got one set of coins. I think Paul got another set of coins. He also, also got, got something that we'd never seen before, which was a random, random silver emote box. You hand it in and you'll get a random emote that's worth, um, I think it's the 200 silver ones. Yeah, uh, that come uh, out uh, kind of after we lessened our play time in the game, where the previous season's emotes were sort of... Oh, God, solar burn again. Yeah, the previous seasons of moats become available as nightfall drops. Which somebody say solar burn? Solar burn. <laughs> I mean, I think it's cool that you can get emotes from it, but at the same time, I'm not really going to go out of my way to buy an emote now, so that I can potentially get it later. I don't want one as a reward. I never even thought of it. I wanted one. I fucking paid the few quid that it cost to get it, like most people did. So well, to yeah. spend my time on this and then get an email that I never wanted in the first place. That's a fair point, like I mean, they don't cost that much. If you want it, you can go buy it and finally now if you don't want it you're gonna get it as a reward anyway, potentially. I I'm I'm actually hoping now for triple emote rewards. I'll be uh <laughs> That'll be pretty cool. Uh -oh. 
We don't want them and then bang three of them. I'm going to res myself in a second once uh, field time is right. I think grounded's on as well, actually, so it didn't actually check the modifiers. Uh, no, it's, um, is it grounded? Or it's the one that benefits us. Um, Iron Cloud. Brawl us on so we do more damage with punch, solar burn. The only, there's no debuffs, really, except for all the enemies have shields. Active modifiers, ironclad more enemies have shields, brawler, airborne deal more damage while in the air. Definitely going to be jumping melees then for the air warlock. Yeah, I need to put my uh, ancient of light on that so. But yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's to the point now where it's more of a hindrance to a nightfall than it is a benefit. Mm. I just wish there was... I mean, it's worth... It's down it's to the entire inside. situation where well, I, I wish... wish. There was no light level stuff to weapons. Used to do. Mm -hmm. So you're guaranteed to get something that's high, and then you're just taking a shot on one. Most of the stuff was extremely rare to get, so it's like it's really hard to get something you wanted. But then, but when you got it, you was guaranteed it's max damage, but you're still rolling on the actual attachments. Oh yeah. Good. But now you've got both situations where you need the attachments and you need the light level. I'd say it's worth noting that the three of us, you know, we've all put in, I think, I've put in over 2,000 hours. Um, you two have both put in more than, uh, more than me by a few hundred. Uh, and I had about 1,700 before the Taken King. Yeah, uh, you know, we're in that sort of player base that's like, do we complete everything as it was happening. Uh, you know, super similar things all done on time. Uh, exotic swords all done as soon as possible. All that stuff done straight away. Um, you know. So we put in a lot of time on this game. There's people out there who maybe only play it for an hour a day, if that. You know, just some after work. And there is a lot for those people to do. But for a very large group of players, not even that large, but you know, people who have spent a lot of time on the game, uh, there's not anything really other than the challenge mode worth doing in terms of ranking up. Are we supposed to be down there oh, fighting stuff? Way, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm running, running around, around on the fucking fire sword out at the minute. I've got a cat in the way. I can't even fucking see the screen. <laughs> Loki. Loki. Oi. You want to shift your fuzzy ass? Oh, I'm going to him. Fucking running yeah, into the wall. Uh, he's just like, why do you do it these days? I mean, some of it used to be fun, but I mean, it, it comes to the point as well now where they won't even do the old strikes. You know, there's not a full rotation of every single strike. To the night, at least like I'd love the nightfall be. Um, I know what you're gonna say now. Oh, I thought you were gonna go with Big Ogre. I am. Um, I'm forgetting his name. There's an Og in it or the Abomination. Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. That oh, I used to love that Shit, nightfall. That The old, I remember the, old, uh, the olden days where, you know, you came back to the stores. Like I said, you go back to the point where shit was rare to get, but when you got it, you was over the moon, even if sometimes it had bad stats. Oh, yeah. But then, and then, but before all that, where you never had anything, and then the Nightfall was like Sepix Prime, and, you know, there was burns and shit. This will kill us all. <laughs> the weapons, I need to kill it. Oh, fuck. Wow, all right. <laughs> but, um, I mean, when you'd be in that room where there'd be like three waves on you, I'll just rise and we'll move on. And it used to be so hard, and but it was enjoyable to do. You got it done, you was like, Yes! I still yeah. got shit, but yes, we did it! And then, yes, it's a bit easier now, but you can't even do it now. I mean, a lot of people didn't like uh, what. Oh, sorry, you go first, Patrick, after you. Uh, back at the like, day dot, when. when we were still in blue gear and all this crap, and we were doing Sepix Prime on the Nightfall. And as soon as you saw the Rilla Genis had shields and there was art burn on you, you were shitting yourself. Now, mm. Gatling could solo as well. I mean, for me, I forgot my point. What was my point? Um, we'll get back to my point at some point. I really forgot the point now. I had to what wanted to say, but it's just, it's completely gone. <laughs> but it was, I think... Prime reward strikes. 
Rewards, strikes, epics, prime. I can't even remember. I don't even know. But I think another point I'm realising is now. You were talking about things being challenging. We're not the maximum light level. And I'm just literally running around doing whatever. You feel like doing. There's no. I don't feel in danger at any point. Supposed to be fucking solar burn, I know. Indeed. <laughs> running around the really range. I mean, exactly, solar burn and a cabal blade strike, and we're just, you know, doing whatever. <laughs> but I, I, I miss, that was what I was going to say. So, not many people was that big a fan of the uh, House of Wolves DLC. Was it House of Wolves? Yeah, where we had the uh, Prison of Elders, things like that. Um, that was the most fun I ever had in this game. You know what, it probably, like, although the content in itself wasn't the best, as compared to other stuff we've had, I played so much during that period. I had like, uh, obviously I ranked loads of stuff up, but I had over 120 spare etheric light. That's how much I still played and grinded the game. Because, you know, you didn't have none of this 320 stuff. I think the leveling system was brilliant when we were getting from like 180 to getting into the 300. And then after the 300, it's just like, this is not a fun grind anymore. I, I love grinding. Grinding is one of the best Especially parts of the game. Mm. Especially when weapons now, yes, a lot of them, like we figured out between the three of us, the optimal um, upgrade between one level to another using a, a fully experienced weapon, a non fully experienced weapon, and all sorts of to the point where we can plan what we needed to get it used and how many to get to 320. But what, you, what really, really annoys me is the fact that you can get exotics and oh. they only still come at 280. Siege, Dancer. Uh, <laughs> the exotics only come at 280, and then they only upgrade at four levels at a time, no matter what you use. Mm. And it's just the fact that you've got to get those weapons at that light level higher to actually start upgrading it, and it only goes up by four. Well, this is the thing, Ridiculous. because you know, people might say to you, Well, you can get 320 stuff by doing the challenge mode, right? Well, not technically, no, because if you don't want to use the challenge mode, sniper rifle or shotgun, you want to use a different one, you've still got to get the weapon you want and then get about three or four challenge. If you want an exotic secondary, you've got to get like, so many, so many things to infuse. You need about four drops. We talk about primary weapon as well. I mean, I don't think of, is primary even, or is it a helmet that's guaranteed? I'm not even sure what's guaranteed at the Oryx drop. Maybe it's both. I don't know because I haven't done the challenge mode. It's a chance of anything. This is why I refuse to do it because I mean, the bad luck I've always had with raids since September. I've only ever had three heavies, and then even then it's been a 310, 312, and a 314. Knowing my luck, I'd do the uh, War Priest, I'd get three sniper rifles. <coughs> mm hmm. Oh, it's, it's a waste of time. And plus, I don't like being told what to do when it comes to a <laughs> It's like, hey, you have to do this, you have to do that. It's not fun being told what to I do. Mean, if I want to be told what to do, I'll be mm -hmm. back in school. The War Priest is basically how we'd end up doing it anyway. I mean, I think it required you to have different aura holders. Uh, I normally grab two of the auras, but it wouldn't be... We take him down in like two cycles anyway, so it would just get someone else to grab the second one over me, and then that's... Well, yeah, you know, it got to that point, and we're not even like... Oh, I don't feel like I need to push when I'm playing the game for a, a higher light level. I'm 314, and I don't... You know, when I go into, say, Iron Banner, Trolls, where its light level is supposedly relevant, I can still get destroyed by a bloke that's 308. So I'm not worried about playing a 320 player. I'm not worried about that. Because it's not as important as it what it used to be, it doesn't feel. I'm going to use a heavy sim. Oh, there's no need. Got it. Pop my special and just went at him with the sword and grenades. Yeah, I got the first crowd before the fucking ship killed me. They are way more powerful than... So that is the end of this video. There'll be another one tomorrow of another Nightfall, maybe. We're going to do it tomorrow, maybe. We're going to do it right now. But there'll be another video. We'll wait the 15 seconds and see our loot. Apparently, look, the ships are still taking us out with anger or on their retreat. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If there's anything you want to say in the comments, do you agree? Do you disagree? What are your thoughts of the Nightfalls and the rewards and doing them? Let us know. And oh, do try to reply to most comments. So if you do comment, you 99% are going to get a response. So here are our rewards. A 
Truth 310. 308 boots. Do not need. And you've got a Sparrow Toolkit. Well done. I'm not really 100% sure what you can do with that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like. <laughs> You're doing better with toilet paper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't believe it.